This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, so on Mondays I try to share with you a lick that I've found either in someone else's playing, my own playing, or a request that I thought would be interesting. This one came from my own playing with the Silver Sky SE. I thought it was interesting because it kind of led into a solo with a bit of impact and you could kind of start this like a bar before the solo actually starts and then land on the beat, it sounds pretty cool. Uh, feel free to Go to Patreon to get the backing track and the tabs for this if you're interested, but you should be able to learn it from this and maybe try and incorporate it into your playing. Uh, I played it, improvised it that one time. I thought that sounds quite cool, so I'll try and get it into my playing in a more concrete way. So we're kind of using D minor, F major as the home for this. Um, so the way that I'm seeing this thing is generally around the F major scale. But within the F major scale, we have these two pentatonic box shapes. So that's F major pentatonic and D minor pentatonic. Those would sort of be the framework, but we're starting with this E, which is from the F major scale, the seventh degree of the F major scale, not in the pentatonic scale, but it actually sounds really cool if you incorporate it with a pentatonic. worth exploring that. I think Gary Moore used to do quite a bit of this, the guys from Thin Lizzy, but essentially it's a way to not play the pesky avoid note. Um, so in some circles, the, the fourth degree of the scale, so if we're in F, the B flat is considered an avoid note because over certain chords it will add quite a bit of dissonance. Worth looking into that a little bit. Not what this is about, but yeah, that shape. could be worth exploring. So we start on the 12th fret and we do that. So we go and then down to 14 and 12 on the G string and back up to 14, up to 13 and 15. And then 12, 13, 12, 15, 13, 14, 12, 15, 12, right back down the pentatonic scale. 
and after that we slide from the 14th fret to the 12th down to the 10th 12 10 12 12 In terms of picking, I'm basically economy picking this. So down, up, down, down, up, up. And then down, up, up, down. So that's kind of the first stage of the lick. The next thing I thought was what if we played that an octave lower and we could do that down here. 9, 12, 10, 9, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 10, 9, 12, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10. then to finish off instead of doing that slide down we could just slide all the way down to the seventh fifth eight five eight five quite a cool sound. From there what I might do would be to move it into other keys and as I say I'm viewing this kind of around the F major so if I can find my F major I know my lick kind of just starts one note below it. Therefore if I find it in G major I've got a G up here If I want to start it in C major, I've got a C here. Uh, what else could we do? I've got a D flat here. Or here. So that's how I would kind of visualize it. Uh, take it slow. I think it's quite a cool sounding lick. If you want to get the tab for it, Patreon will be the place to go and the backing track. Um, but yeah, let me know if you find these kind of lessons interesting. Leave a comment, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe you could consider. It's just something that I'm going to be working on this week, trying to get into my playing a little bit more because it had quite a cool sound to it, quite impactful. Um, so I wanted to, yeah, make more of it. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.